Welcome back, Redeemers. I'm Young. Nick. I'm Curtis. I'm Jared. I'm Zach. I'm Mary Jean Zamaki. Marcellus D, the whole dirty bastard. Arlen Field. <laughs> ODB. <laughs> I'm tired. And that's right, YouTube. You see it. Y'all been asking for it. Beating down the table. <laughs> We've been getting death threats. No. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we've been getting a lot of uh, requests for some um, some mama performances Woo! on YouTube. And it's only right we got the big panel, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're going to give it to y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> also, make sure you guys jump on the Patreon. Um, like Lo said, this was a treat for uh, YouTube, but the 2019 version is up now on the Patreon. Everybody's been banging on the table for that. You don't mean 37 minutes. Like, nah. It's all up on Patreon. Rise of Bang Tang. New episodes of In the Soup dropping this month. And some other exclusive live performances, interviews, and dope shit on there. Um, over 2,000 members currently. Let's get that. Let's, let's get that shit to 5,000. Um, and let's get our page to 50,000 subscribers because half of y'all watching this haven't even clicked that subscribe button right now. Do it now. Do it now. Okay. Shh. Rock, you go, I'm 
Sasha. But... I forgive you. Yeah. It's like, okay. Or I don't. It's like, <laughs> it was I forgive you. So I think. Fucking fire. Fire. Who <laughs> told him it? <laughs> yeah, now that Jones, that Jones on point. He <laughs> hit the fire lit from start to finish, and I like the aspect of using the um the screens as part of the set. What am I trying to say, like? I don't know the they background. Incorporated the yeah. background into the dance. The and background the was fire. I'm always a fan of coming from under the stage. I, I feel like that's always dope, especially when it's done right. Um, so yeah, this this. Come on, man! It's bang tang. Like, he's doing what they do. You know, I don't expect nothing less from them. I thought it was about to spin back. Yeah. This is like you ain't done, cool, mother. No, this is a good performance. Um, I like the choreography, especially on the last song. Still, the one thing that's always cool with them is like their interaction or connection with their fans at these live events. Um, impressive. Just, I mean, what what else can you really say? Like these brothers cook it on stage. Just what they. Does it remind you of anything? Oh no! It definitely gave me Vegas vibes. Absolutely gave me Vegas vibes. It's kind of crazy because, like, after seeing them live and then, like, sitting down and then watching a live performance, it's like, I can see where, like, you be in the crowd and be like, ah, I really fuck with this part right here. Like, you really see it from a different perspective after seeing it live. But, like, it's, this, is, this is always, this is always dope. So, it's, it's you know. <laughs> Jerk, was you here for this performance? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure which joint, which one you missed. One. I was there for the Vegas performance. That's all I know. Love the old boy. Cool. Cool story, bro. You don't do it like this anymore. Are the people who already seen it talking again? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, because I think everyone went. No, do you have something you want to this say? This is overall a great performance. Um, I like the scary vibes in the background with like. Dracula's castle and like it was some birds flying around and stuff. It was dope. Um, it's crazy that this is an award show. How much thought and effort they put into an award show? Um, it's not their concert, right? It's crazy. It's an award show. Um, and they all individually snapped. They did their thing. J Hope stood out to me 
Um, this was very enjoyable to watch. It's always nice watching them perform songs that you've seen live because it's like you could feel that energy back inside you. Um, it's, it was a very beautiful, enjoyable experience watching this. It took me back and it made me reminisce. Yeah, it's fire. Who told him that? <laughs> Who told him that? Um, yeah, I actually agree with Jerry just going off his comment. Hosa definitely was the uh, MVP for me throughout this one just because the start of a boy meets evil. He was the, he had the intro for the album. Then Blood, Sweat, and Tears is really like a a J Hope song. It this. is. Yeah. That's a gym and track. Oh no! You get two about. verses in a oh, in a money this, money this, money. This, 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 that say, is that is hands down a gym and track. I was about to say, uh, J Hope says the money 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 part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna extra on it. <laughs> that's that's out of BTS mouth, not my mouth. <laughs> uh, J Hope was like I said was the MVP of the whole thing, but um, definitely blood, sweat, and tears. His performance, obviously, because he has the bridge part that's so famous with the song. Um, yeah. I definitely like the set pieces. It goes with that whole what I called vampire or vampiric type style. When we initially reacted to Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and I was kind of off put from the video before I was actually, you know, onto BTS and uh, had an appreciation for them. But I, it's, it's so dope, man. Like I said, seeing this the second time around is just even better because now you just notice certain things. Uh, like I said, and then fire was dope. I love everybody's energy on fire, especially V at the end. He's hype as hell. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shout out to everybody following us too. I forgot to talk about that. We are at our one year mark. Um, oh wow! For like sure. we've been a year on. We can clap it up. I'm so sick of this fake love. We uh, technically are at our one year mark uh, for reactions and stuff on YouTube for posting at least. Oh, last of, of August. That's when we started and we were filming in July. What? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah. Um, yeah, sorry, Mom. De- no, it's fine. Um, that was important. <laughs> um, this definitely, like you said, Lo, seeing it the second time around gave me chills. Um, I didn't go to the concert, but just watching this, I can only imagine seeing it up close. Um, J-Hope was... Ow. J-Hope was um, the person... For me, in this mm-hmm. this whole thing, he definitely killed it. I really couldn't honestly stop looking at it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I did look, <laughs> I did look at Jimin a lot too. Um, <laughs> Gotta make him feel better. <laughs> um, the way he just came on was just very <laughs> sexy. Like it just draw drawed me right in. Um, I don't remember the video, but there was a video for that song, right? Oh Boy, yeah. I oh, think that was like my first day, maybe in the J- on his birthday that y'all showed me. You talking about from the, these videos? No, uh, the boy meets uh, evil. evil. Oh, boy meets evil. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah uh, you know, this whole thing just really just gave me chills all over again watching this. They really killed it at the end. The energy was just unmatched. It felt like their concert. Felt like they just they just owned it. Um, and I love how they drug it on. Like I hate when songs kind of end yeah. I like how they do the chorus, the hook like chorus like five more times or whatever especially at a war show yeah. yeah but yeah, no they that. killed it I still love this Blessed Sweat and Tears is actually one of the first songs that you um like really banged that's my favorite song that, that you okay. I, I think it's one of the best songs I, to ever come out the K world I think that's the quintessential BTS song I, I, out of everything I think that's the BTS song that just encompasses everything that, that makes them so many places shopping like yeah I can't get enough of that fucking song uh watching this again Blood Sweat and Tears, the first one that was on. Watching this again, it's like, one, it takes you back to Vegas because Fire, that just really reminded me of seeing that performance. And that may be, well, I'm not going to say nothing. Never mind. Tune in. Tune in in September. Oh, yeah. When we do the list. Yeah. When we do the list, tune into that. But um, we say it every time. Whenever we watch the Mama performances, they look like their concerts, like their own personal concerts. And in fairness, we haven't watched anybody else's Mama because I know people are like, "Well, you guys." Uh. 
Yeah, but they're BTS. So. I feel confident yeah. in saying that they probably had some of the best performance of the night. Or the no, best of course, the the best, some of the best oh, performance legit. for sure. I'm just saying, what are you saying? Like, it feel like they concert and so you know people. Mm-hmm. That's the worst. Um, but their dance I'm assuming break. I'm you made a mama. Was, you probably a fire ass artist. <laughs> their dance break Bro, though, and this was great. Season. Ironically, the performance was fire. Um, you know, this is our second time watching this together. Uh, because the original, uh, you know, first reaction for some of us is still on the Patreon. Join it 2019 out now. Um, but yeah, yeah, double down on uh, what Lo and them was saying, like about blood, sweat, and tears. Just kind of to me, arguably BTS's best track. Um, you know, I know that's divisive or um, subjective. Um, but I, I love that track. I just love the dance and I love the energy of the song. And um, that correlated right into Fire, which I think has one of their best sleeper uh, choreos. Oh. It's just something about like that high octane, like that, like just that bounce that it has to it and stuff. Back and, like, cause I had only heard the song when we first reacted to it. I hadn't listened to it since then. Then seeing it at the concert, I was like, oh, And no, you can't I'm, sleep I'm on that sleeping. footwork either. Yeah, yeah that footwork. That particularly that towards the end. Hell no. Nah. And um and at the concert I think they did like the urban mix too so it was a little bit more kind of like like hip hop ish a little bit um so I really like that too but this the hey ah, ah yeah when they ah. Start slot, yo. um but nah these were decent um just like just like Zach and a couple of y'all said the fact that like when we watched some of these before we thought that we were watching a concert of theirs yeah. and this is actually just an award show and them like doing a set is uh it's kind of amazing um BTS in itself is but some it's you're probably gonna sound like a broken record for keep saying like the same thing, just as decent as they are with the vocals and with the rap line and everything like that. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of excited to see what the 2019 version and the 2020 version of the Mama and the MMA performance is like, um, just because I know those get into some of the other tracks that we kind of been waiting to see out of them. Um, it's gonna be up by the time they see this. It's gonna be up by the time they see this one. Um, but. Nah, this was decent. My my only thing is I wish, um, well, not so much I wish that uh, certain other members had a little bit more shine in all of these. They, try, I guess, tried their best to sprinkle it in, and then the camera can only do but so much there to broadcast people. And uh, like like we were battling earlier, Blood, Sweat, and Tears is definitely kind of like a two, three speared race with uh, kind of who's on there. And Fire, I don't know who has the... Who's the it in fire? Yeah. Fire, fire. When I wake up in my room. That, Jimin, I think it's Jimin for me in fire a little bit. He always hits the high note. And then a J-Hope join us all. Just the when I walk up. Uh, oh, like that energy. Just. And I do like the back and forth. Uh, RM and, and Hope do, I think, the uh, back and forth join on there too. Mm-hmm. So so that was dope. Yeah, this this was hard because um, I, I just don't want to sound like one of them people because of how much people know, like, I buy his gym and I buy his J-Hope. But it seemed like this show in particular was set up for them to eat. They say, literally, the first show. two, like... I was definitely about yeah. to say that this was their show. And I, I don't think that's a, a, a stretch to say that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is... Look, like you said, because JK got a, a crazy a dope solo, too, but mm-hmm. he don't, like don't get on there. Yeah, Red, so, blue pill. Yeah, so it's it's just the way the way the camera angle is and the way everything is set up. It definitely feels very Jimin and J Hope centric. Um, but all in all, like I really still love this performance. Two of my favorite uh, title tracks. So yeah, Kurt. yeah, this this was amazing. And I know we had reacted to this on Patreon already and everything like that. Um, so a larger portion of my like spiel, I guess, is going to be on there. But just to basically reiterate and kind of touch or double down on some of the points. Um, I never want to take away, you know, all the production Cut effort up. that goes into the, these kind of performances that we've seen. Um, just, you know, and mind you, I know BTS clearly seems to turn this into their concerts through and through. But the amount of effort that goes into this and as well as, you know, anyone else's production as well, just from the behind the scenes aspect of everything. You know, the MAMA and, and MMA performances in particular are like some of the best award show-esque performances ever because it feels so cinematic in a way with how much attention to detail really goes into, you know, everything behind the scenes with it. Um, and it, it's also just to retouch on this being one of the earlier uh, Mama performances for them. Um, and we can see sequentially as we've gone through them how they've gone, you know, to those larger uh, and larger time slots within everything. So it really goes to show and it, it kind of echoes it in a weird way as far as uh, their rise to fame in that way. When you go from like a, a slot that's like, you know, a two, three song-ish kind of performance um all the way up to you know performances that eclipse over a half hour 
Um, so it's all that to say, it's just, it's incredible as, as far as kind of using it as like a token to kind of bridge along with how much they've grown. Um, so it definitely has a nostalgic factor, I'm sure, at least for me on a second viewing. And I can't imagine, you know, for any of you who see this as much as you do. Um, but just on this performance itself to touch on, I mean, I can't overstate everything about fire enough. I mean, the intensity of that performance, the kinetic energy all the way throughout, the way they utilize the background dancers and, and um, a little bit of the... Um, Ironically, I thought there might have been a little bit more pyrotechnics as far as fireworks and everything uh, with, you know, the subject matter of it, at least not that I remember in the first edition of it. But all that to say, it's that the energy really comes from them and the set design. Um, and that's something to, you know, that's really just kudos to them at the end of the day. And I think, you know, again, that choreography is really sneaky as well. Um, and having seen it live and seen that energy, it just, you know, it really definitely takes you back to those, to those um, times for sure. The footwork within fire as well as I was saying to Nick, is just, you know, it's really stellar, and all the synchronization that goes into that is incredible. Um, can't talk about blood, sweat, and tears enough as far as, you know, um, you know, and I do think that's a good um, point to bring up low as far as it being per per perhaps one of the quintessential songs of, uh, you know, their career maybe. Um, and it, it's definitely really something to think about because, I mean, I feel like you can almost, like, not even argue that. In a way, even if there are other songs that might stand out, I feel it's like just, no song encompasses almost everything BTS is yeah. about more than more than uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Like every aspect of BTS, I feel like is covered in blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. That'd be a good conversation to have, though, to really think about it. But it just made me see the song in a new light, like literally right now. So I just, you know, I definitely appreciated that. But uh, everything that they were doing in, in that performance was incredible as well, and um, the acrobatics that they were able to show with like some of the handstands and stuff of that uh, nature that they brought in was incredible. Um, and just the first performance, the reason I kind of went backwards is because that's what uh, I was going to talk about a little bit uh, more so in specific. Um, as far as it being, you know, J-Hope and Jimin uh, centric, I can definitely see that. But particularly that first performance um, really just came out swinging as far as, you know, Jimin in the blindfold and everything. And not only just being in the blindfold and getting the synchronization of the dance moves down between him and Hope, um, the heaven and hell aspects of red and blue, as you say. Um, keeping with a little bit of the wings era, as, as we see with the uh, the scarring mark on the, the bare back and everything, uh, just kind of the way they tie in those thematic elements to the performances. But basically, when um, you know, a lot of it is on J Hope in a sense. I feel like, and that's something to be understated because I love what Jimin did with the the whole blindfold aspect of it. But it's almost on Hope to kind of mimic his uh, performance. I feel like, or it's like because it has to be so in tandem for the timing and the synchronization, I feel like at least behind the scenes it was almost like, Jimin, you do what you're going to do and then I'm going to follow and kind of make it, you know, match as opposed to, you know, Jimin not being able to see and trying to match J-Hope's um, kind of. So just the synchronization that they had between the two um, was all incredible. But also with uh, the blindfold aspect of it, it wasn't just the fact that he was in the blindfold. He was doing like 180 and 360 spins and still landing facing directly in front of the audience. Uh, which I found incredible as well because he wasn't, you know, tilted off to the side or anything like that. So it was just the amount of timing and preparation that must have gone into everything like that is what stands out strongest in this performance to me. Um, and I imagine if people weren't too in tune with BTS around that time or if they were seen as, you know, not as big as, you know, any other kind of groups perhaps, that that would have been one of the standout performances to get everyone's attention. Um, but yeah, all that to say, this, this was incredible and it's just incredible to see how it's progressed uh, throughout the various performances uh, as the MAMA and MMA awards have uh, gone on. But um, now, all in all, this, this was incredible. Uh, Zach and Jarek, dancers. Um, I would push back a little bit with the whole, um, I, would, I would think that they don't, that they wouldn't look at each other at all for the dance. They just would let the music kind of tell them uh, what we're going with y'all? Oh, I don't mean during the performance. I yeah. mean like during the making of the performance, as far as like you know, kind of figuring out that timing and everything. But oh. nonetheless, yeah, they, oh, okay. they were all yeah. really yeah. After a certain it. time, it kind of becomes muscle memory. Mm -hmm. So at this point, they're like so used to each other's spacing, and like yeah, it's, it's very easy for them to just like kind of get that groove going. Um, because they're perfectionists, so they've done it so many different times. For like one time, like on the stage, they know where they have to go. Mm -hmm. They look at each other and it's like, all right, let's get it. It's probably like basketball. If I hoop with you like two or three times, like I'm going to know your spots. Exactly. I would know, I would know, I would know Kurt is going to always kind of hit the corner before, you know what I mean, a layup. Yeah. So, you know. So it's teamwork. 
team. His team, like team exactly. Dream, no yeah, but my fault. I thought that's what you had meant, and I just was. Oh, like, no, oh, I should. Oh, I should have oh, clarified oh. better. I got no, no, no. You're not. You're not. You're good, bro. <laughs> it's not clearing it up. Facts. <laughs> um, not everybody good though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, this show was fire, man. Redeemers, y'all know the deal, man. Jump in the comments. Tell us what y'all favorite performance was. Tell us what y'all favorite mama performance is, and tell us why it's twenty nineteen and twenty. Um, <laughs> if you want to see set performances, go to the Patreon right, right now. Yeah. Um, and those will be up on there Also other exclusive stuff Like I said in the soup is going to be On episode 2 by the time y'all probably watch this um, Run BTS is up there Rise of Bang Tang And for the person who's the 20th time you watch this video And you're not subscribed What the hell is wrong with you man At this, yeah, point, we're, yeah, at this point we're a part of your day man Hit that subscribe button man um, Other than that we love you army We're going to holler at y'all Peace